Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie. I've literally just closed off yesterday's vlog, so if you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and watch it. It's where we walk around Malacca, kind of taking in the city and enjoying it. Today, we are planning to walk along the river, hopefully go and see a mosque on some sand and hopefully some other goodies. So yeah, super excited, let's get going. Okay, there's a little mirror here, so I thought I'd do an outfit of the day. So I've got on my Converse um, trainers. I actually bought some socks the other day from H&M, so I'm also wearing them. <laughs> Super exciting. Um, a H&M denim shorts. I can try and leave everything linked below. H&M just a beige t-shirt. And then my Peak Design bag, which is what I carry my camera. And then also my water bottle in there to keep it safe. Um, sunglasses are prescription, so I won't be able to link them. But yeah. Casual outfit today. So we are staying just in that building up there somewhere. And we're crossing over the grass. It is such a beautiful day. It's lovely and sunny, but I thought I would show you. How stunning is that? It's just the river outside like that. So cute. Anyway, we're gonna go this way today and hopefully see the ocean or the sea. I'm not sure I should know that. Okay, we've made it to the water, it's a bit windy, so I apologise, but somewhere over there is Sumatra, over the Malacca Strait. There's some cool buildings here, I'm not sure. Jeremy said the white one is a theatre, I'm not sure what that yellow one is over there. But we're going to walk down here a little bit and explore. So I've just realised I stupidly forgot to put sun cream on today, so I need to be careful with my face because I have really bad um, sun marks on my forehead which I've been trying to kind of reduce or at least not get worse and I forgot to put sun cream on today so that's brilliant but never mind okay so there wasn't a whole lot to see over there so what we're actually going to do is walk down here and then take a road to the right and then we're going to cross over to the other side of the bridge so I'll show you that when we get there but there was not actually much worth seeing okay so this is more of a commercial zone but I thought I would show you this car as well that we're just walking past like pink metallic. <laughs> so flashy and cool. Anyway, we're still just walking down here. Not a lot exciting today at the moment. Okay, so change of plan. We're actually going to walk straight to the mosque on the strait on the sand. And we're currently on the bridge. I thought I would show you some of the views. So that's where we've been coming from. And there's lots and lots of greenery. And we're staying in one of these places here. There's this huge boat on the water here. So it's only a small river and this boat is huge. I have no idea what it thinks it's doing on this piece of water. Okay, so we've made it to the other side of the bridge and there's some like apartment buildings here, hotels, things like that. We're currently walking down this way. I think there's some restaurants on the left that we're gonna go to. And then on the way back, we're going to pop into a family store and hopefully find some mangoes because we found it quite hard to find any fruit and veg shops. And I think that one should have fruit and veg. But anyway, just thought I would show you. We're still making our way towards the mosque. Okay, so Jeremy's found a restaurant on Google Maps down here that we're going to try. But there's also an Oyo Hotel. There's also a 7-Eleven, so there's a couple of different things. We're going to try this place, Tandoori House. This is the views, this is the street we're on. Okay, so I got a Lou Parantha, which is a little bit spicy, it's basically a potato pancake. And Jeremy got a chicken tandoori with rice. So, quick update, lunch was delicious. We also had a Magnum from the shop on the way out. We're currently crossing the bridge to go over to like a tiny little island where this uh, mosque is. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a, a, like a view of our view. No, a little bit of a look at our view. <laughs> so we've walked from down there and there's actually a couple of um, big hotels and things. I think there's like a Hilton there somewhere. Anyway, we're coming this way and this is the view. We're sort of crossing the water now. And there's these, I guess that's apartments. I don't think it's a hotel because it's huge. There's a new build there and Jeremy's all the way over there. <laughs> I don't think he realized I stopped to vlog. But anyway, we're making our way there. I still don't 100% have my appetite back and I'm still coughing, like I was just coughing then in between these two videos. So I would say probably like 90% back to normal, which is pretty good going, but I'm still not 100% back to how I usually am. But I'm glad I have enough energy to actually be able to explore because that 10 days in Kuala Lumpur was basically a waste of time. Anyway, I'm not sure you can hear me because of the wind, so I'll talk to you again. 
when I see anything interesting or when we get to the mosque. So we are currently walking to the mosque. It's a little bit strange here. It's a bit like a empty Lego town or something. I don't know. I can't tell if they're still building things or if it's been abandoned. Very, very strange. There's kind of not many people here at all. <laughs> anyway, it should be up here somewhere very close. It's very odd here. So this has a prestigious development by Arab City and I think it's going to be a hotel. Like if you see that picture there, it looks beautiful. It looks like it's going to be so, so pretty. But just at the minute, <laughs> it's kind of been abandoned maybe. So I'm not sure if this was all started during COVID and since then it's been abandoned, but it is pretty weird. It's a bit like when you go to like a college campus in summer and there's just no one around. It feels a bit like that. Okay, we've made it to the mosque. I am, however, wearing shorts, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be allowed in. What does this say? Yeah, um, I'm not covering my knees or my face, so let's see. So this is the entrance. Very, very pretty. Um, I don't think I'm going to be allowed in because I'm not wearing the appropriate clothing, which is absolutely fine. I just want to see it from the outside and from like the sand and things, but it's so gorgeous. So Jeremy tried to get in, but he's wearing shorts and somebody kicked him out because men need to be wearing trousers and long sleeve tops and women also need to wear like long dresses and trousers and cover their faces and wear hijab things. So we're not allowed in, which is fine. We kind of expected it. Um, <clears throat> but I think we are going to try and look at the size because I think from the size is actually where I wanted to see it from anyway, but let me show you. So this is the entrance and like I said, we're not allowed in, but that's what it looks like from here. So it's very windy, but that's the entrance where we're not allowed in. So instead we're going to walk along here and get some pictures. There's Jeremy all the way over there already. Okay, so we've come to the side and it's windy still, so I apologise if you can hear that, but this is the view. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a mosque over the water like that before, so it's definitely unique. Shame we can't go in, but never mind. So we have come to the other side and this is the view. It's pretty much the same, although I don't think it had this jetty on the other side. But yeah, pretty cool, if you ask me. Okay, we have finished at the mosque. We're now going to walk to a couple of fruit shops on the way back home and hopefully find some fresh mangoes. Um, I think this was worth coming to. Try and stay covered if you want to go inside, otherwise you can't go in. The other thing I'd recommend is probably to get a taxi here because there's not a lot to see on the way here. We enjoy walking places, but I think for most people, I think if you were just to get a taxi, it'll be fine. But yeah, I think it's cool. Definitely something different, something I've not seen before. Okay, so update. We have come to the place where I said earlier, the family store thing, to be able to get some mangoes. And I thought I would show you because there's loads of shops here, actually. This is like the commercial center. So there's a H&M over there, KFC over here, and then over here there's WeWorks, Starbucks, Uniqlo, Adidas, all the other ones that I can't see, but it's like a, it's the shopping area basically. And this is where we're coming, family store, to hopefully find some mangoes. So we're in the supermarket, they have some interesting things like these, sorry it's flashing, um, sparkling lemon but in like a see-through can which is super interesting and they also have lots of these where there's like zero English on it so I have no idea I mean obviously there's a lime and honey but otherwise none of that is in English so there's always lots of like fun things at supermarkets that you can find and try they also got chupa chup drinks which I've never seen in England or Europe they've got mochi balls in the ice cream section they've got mango and passion fruit flavor strawberry mango cheese Oh my god, the passion fruit one might be good. So I'm just looking through all the different aisles and they've got charcoal toothpaste and they've also got lemon and aloe vera toothpaste by Colgate. I have never seen that before. Okay, so we are currently looking at tea because I've actually been enjoying tea recently. So they've got mango up there, which is interesting. Um, I found this brand, so they've got peach and passion fruit or peppermint and lemon. And there's another one there that's lemon and oh there lemon and ginger. So I'm thinking about getting one or two tea things. Okay, so we are back at the apartment, absolutely knackered. And of course, today when I forgot to put sun cream on is one of the sunniest days we have. Just walking around in the middle of the day, so my face is a little bit burnt, and you can see 
the um, damage that I already have here and I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to wear sun cream all the time, but I forgot today and you can see here that I got burnt as well. You can see my necklace mark and then like, it looks so bad. One second, how can I show you this? There we go. So that's from today, which is brilliant. Not. Never mind it, right? I think we're now going to chill. Oh, God. I think we're now going to chill for a bit and then maybe go out later on for dinner somewhere. But that is a good old tan. Okay, we're just coming out for sunset. We're about to get some dinner. Jeremy's got a call in about an hour, so we kind of need to be quick. But this is the same place we came to last night in that vlog, if you've seen it. So we ordered food from here and there's a noisy truck I apologise but I got chicken with rice and a couple of chips and a bit of salad so that's my dinner and this is Jeremy's he's got noodles with like a soup dish looks good okay so we are back home from eating dinner you can see where I'm burnt from today oh dear and my face as well anyway um thank you so much for watching today I really hope you enjoyed it if you do want to go to the um mosque I would recommend just getting a taxi there. There's not much to see if you walk. It was nice for us to walk because like I said in the last video, I've been ill quite a lot. This past sort of two weeks, I've been a bit unwell. So we've not been sort of exploring and walking and things. So it was really nice today to get a really good walk in. There's lots of steps, but otherwise I would recommend probably just getting a taxi there and back again, just because it's not worth kind of walking to. There's not many things along the way. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Um, we are planning on exploring more of Malacca tomorrow and then we want to do a boat trip probably on Thursday or Friday maybe, we'll see. So there's still some content to come from here but I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you back here for more of my videos. See you soon, bye!